very special because there's a possibility of so many other planets and life forms. Instead of everything being random, with the flat earth it puts us at the center of creation. The sun and stars are revolving around us. We are at the center. Suddenly we matter. We are special. Also, if the idea of a dome is true, then that kind of points towards intelligent design. Who designed it? When you wrap up all the land and put it on a ball, there's nowhere left to go. Everything has been discovered already. What's beyond the 60 degree parallel line? What's at the edge? What's it made of? If we can lie to you about where you really are, where you really came from, if we can convince you that what you see and perceive is wrong, and to instead trust what we tell you to be true, then that sets an easy foundation for us to control you. Is this a hoax? Are you really in space still? See the hair? See the hair? Like others believe the sun and moon are a duality, yin and yang. The sun produces a warm light, and the moon, being its opposite dual nature, produces a cold light. Yes, you heard me right. There are people conducting experiments on the temperature of the moon's light, and it goes against everything we've been taught in school. Flat earthers are finding that when the moon's light is measured with a thermometer, particularly on a full moon, that emits a colder temperature than the shade. Wow, it's way warmer in the shade. Check out this scientist being interviewed by an Australian news outlet in 1965. Um, what is your theory? Well, uh, it is by now rather more than a theory. Uh, 10 or 11 years ago, I stated to various scientists that the moon is not a piece of rock, but it is a plasma, a plasma phenomenon, a cosmic plasma, uh, and that this fact will eventually be confirmed. I made certain predictions which were already confirmed in 1958 and the situation now is coming close to a complete confirmation.